Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 25th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Exeter GFS ECM Ensemble. They run trying to go to weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that will get us um, towards the middle phase of uh, June now, actually. I'll get on with that for you in a moment, just to say that first... The video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've had a quick look at the uh, Spring Bank holiday as well. Done the first update Spring Bank holiday. And they're going to be live streaming at 8 p.m. tonight. So uh, we're going to have a look at 12s there. We'll have a look at some long range. And uh, if all of that wasn't enough, we'll be having a chat as well. And uh, that'll be coming up at 8. So if you're around the channel at 8 p.m., I shall see you live uh, then maybe. Uh, right, okay, let's start off with century and temperature then. The CT is now sitting at 12.4, that's 1.2 degrees above 61.90 average, that's provisional to yesterday to the 14th of May. So it's going to be about a degree above average by uh, tomorrow when it updates are up to the middle part of the month, I think. So just a bit above average for May um, so far. These were GFS upper air temperature amplification ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're going to Edinburgh today. The red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Edinburgh. We're starting off below average at the moment. We will find those upper air temperatures ticking up a little bit later on this week, then falling back closer to average. And then really starting to take off, perhaps, through the final week of the month. It does look as though we've got quite a quite an impressive warming trend there as we go through the uh, final week of May. Um, you see white line, which is the ensemble mean, that's going significantly above the red line, 30-year average so uh yeah i think you know the final week or so of may could be the warmest phase of the month and of the spring as well it has been a bit of a slog this spring to get get things uh to warm up but um it could be that as we said in yesterday's video uh signs of summer are there precipitation wise it's not going to be complete dry but it could be like um minimal amounts of precipitation from beginning to end over the next couple of weeks but that is a much drier ensemble than we've seen through most of this spring uh so far so a drying and warming trend really through the second half of uh may Temperature anomaly is on the 15th, 23rd of May, just a little bit below average in England and Wales, near a normal further north. I expect these to start trending warmer over the coming days, so we'll have to see about that. And precipitation anomaly is from the 15th, 23rd of May, most areas coming out dry on average, western regions um, particularly so. The latest winter map from Earth, Nordschool.net, shows that we're pulling down a little bit of a cool northerly uh, wind today. So the next two or three days will be quite chilly with high pressure just out to our west and bring down that, uh, that northerly. Right, let's start going to chart data then. We still if you can make your run. It's looking for midnight on Thursday. A bridge of high pressure still sitting through the country. Lots of dry weather. And that ridge strengthens into the weekend. Look at this. A big ridge should be as well as always Scandinavia and uh, northern parts of Europe. That should bring uh, a very pleasant, warm weekend. I would have thought temperatures into the upper teens or low 20s Celsius, Celsius. And that ridge is still there, you know, still dominating as we get to midnight on Monday, 22nd of May. And that's as far as we go with the U with UK back today. I can't again have that little ridge across the country on Thursday. It weakens a little bit through to Friday. And then into the weekend, not as strong with the ridge with Icon, but still enough to bring a lot of dry weather and warm weather to the south. Which is a little bit more unsettled, though, further north with Icon. You notice the ridge doesn't look as strong and stable with Icon as it does with the uh, UK Mech. So that is a little bit of a change, but it is still strong enough to bring lots of dry and uh, pleasantly warm weather into the south anyway. The GFS Midnight Run also has this nice ridge of high pressure building up from the southwest on Thursday. And into the weekend, see quite a strong ridge through the country. Should bring fair amounts of dry weather. There might be a few showers over the weekend. Um, but I think basically we're looking at a lot of fine weather. Now into next week, the high pressure begins to pull out to our west and winds turn into more of a northwesterly. So that begins to turn a little bit cooler and more showery as we get to around days 8, 9 and 10. Uh, and then heading up towards the Bank Holiday weekend, we cover this in the first update for this uh, Bank Holiday course, uh, we find that high pressure ridge is back in 
Off the Atlantic brings a dry and warm start to Bank Holiday Weekend for low pressure starts returning from the Atlantic by the very end of the GFS Midnight Run, which today gets us to the final day of May. Looks quite unsettled by then with showers, long as well as rain, maybe even a little bit of a hint of some thunder. The GFS 6Z also looks like this. High pressure is in the ascendancy. As we go into the end of the week and the weekend, high pressure by Sobo is weakening a little bit. Pinks of movement taking place with low pressure in the North Atlantic and also across the continent. Just a squeezing, squeezing, I should say, uh, the ridge a little bit. But still a lot of dry weather, I think, as we head into the uh, weekend. Beyond that, heading up towards days 8, 9, 10, just looks a little bit more mixed. These charts aren't quite as good as the ones we were seeing uh, yesterday, the output we were seeing yesterday. Day 10, you know, it's not bad, but it does look a little bit on the cooler and more showery side again, with winds in from the northwest. But ridge of high pressure winds come comes back as we go into the bank holiday weekend, bringing a lot of dry the warm weather, especially to the south. And that's over how we finish up with the GFS 6 z run. Again, we've got a nice bridge into south, brings a lot of dry and warm weather, patches a little bit more showery up north. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about Gals Webbins. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We need to put on around 85 subscribers now to get to 15.9k. So please give us a sub. And we thank you so very much for doing that. GM, again, with that bridge of high pressure up from southwest at the end of the week and into the weekend. Lots of dry and quite warm weather on the way, especially so for the south. And then into next week, we just see that ridge weakening a little bit to allow some unsettled weather into the northern half of the country. But basically, for the south, anyway, we're still under high pressure and still dry and pleasantly warm up to 25th of May, day 10. And then the ECM also has that ridge up from the southwest on Thursday into the weekend. Again, nice ridge from the Azores to northern and western parts of Europe, lots of dry and warm weather over the weekend into the open next week just wobbles a bit we get some lower pressure developing over france and the low countries and out in the atlantic it just squeezes the high pressure out slightly and so we start to turn a little bit cooler and a little bit more showering around day eight nine however by day 10 we're back under the ridge of high pressure once again that is the 25th of may this is a precipitation forecast based on that ecm run with tometeo.com lots of dry weather to come through the rest of the week some shy rain up north but otherwise plenty of dry uh conditions heading up towards um the beginning of next week, though, it starts to turn a bit more unsettled. Suggestion maybe there's some thunder in the south and the southeast there about the 23rd of May. That seems to be early part of next week. Um, and suggestion that there might be some heavy showers or maybe even some thunderstorms breaking out there. Um, and then it turns drier, though, by day 10, the ridge is coming back in from off the Atlantic, though. These are the options on the table within the ECM. Ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. This will get, to the, get, us, get us to the 25th of May. 14 members of the ECM Ensembles have a nice rich building uh, from the Atlantic into Europe. Although it has low pressure up to the north and northwest. So it could be a little bit unsettled for Scott. But most places are dominated by high pressure. There 12, including the operational run with low pressure. A bit further south was in the Atlantic. A bit weaker with the high pressure to our northeast and also out to the Atlantic. So that could be a little bit more unsettled as we've just seen. Um, uh, nine just here, bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic. High pressure into our west southwest. That looks a little bit on the cool and showery side. Uh, another nine with high pressure right over top of the coast. That's supposed to dry and warm. And seven with high pressure over Scandinavia. Winds in from the east. That should be mostly dry and quite warm as well. Most of those options are involving high pressure to some degree. Um, but, of course, as ever, the devil is in the detail of exactly where that high pressure is sitting. And then, too, in time, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to the 30th of May. 28 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure really dominating to our north and northeast. Dry and warm there. 
with winds in from the east. 15 with high pressure by Terry Toffer Coach. That's drive warm scenario 2. And then a minority option 8 to be more unsettled. Low pressure in the Atlantic. High pressure to our east. And so that is potentially bringing, bringing in some thunder, I think, from the south with that area of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic and uh, coming up against those southerly winds. However, at day 10 and day 14, most of the options are involving high pressure building control. CFS V2, uh, finally, so these are 500 millibar height and noise breaking down into week periods. The first week period will take us from the 15th to the 21st of May. The coming week, we'll have high pressure reaching from the Atlantic into uh, northern and western Europe. So lots of dry weather with that and quite warm as well. Week 2 is going to be the 22nd to 28th of May. High pressure dominates over Scandinavia and is supported by the ridge in the Atlantic into Western Europe as well. So once more, obviously, we have to be very dry and, and uh, potentially quite warm. Week three will be the 29th of May, of May to the 4th of June. High pressures right in over top of the country then. And then a week for rounding it all off. It's the 5th to the 11th of June and we still see high pressure well and truly dominating weather, mostly dry and uh, warm there as we go further on into June. And we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worthies. Get them to subscribe as well. I and mean, we thank you so much, everyone, for doing that for us. And there we go. That's your 10 to 14 day for uh, today. So it looks a, not quite, a, the charts aren't quite as classic today as they were with yesterday's video. Nevertheless, I think we are going to have a lot of dry and at times quite warm weather through the second half of May, and that could well last into early June as well, if the CFS is to be believed. Now, we're going to be back uh, later on at 8 p.m. this evening with our Monday Night Live stream, so I shall see you a little bit later on, maybe, if you're around the channel, check into the live, and I'll see you then. But for today's 10 to 14 day, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.